Let's take a closer look at the lambda function. Lambda could be used to apply an anonymous function to many items in an array or arrays. We can take a look at lambda in context of the map function. The map function will map each value in the array or arrays to create a new value. Let's say, for example, you want to combine the first and last name of a contact. You can use the lambda function in conjunction with the lambda helper function map to map each item in the first name array and the last name array to create a unique array, Sally Smith, John Sawyer, Ben Johnston, and Catherine White. You could do this using the concatenate function, like we see here, concatenate first name plus a space plus a last name but you can also use the concatenate function inside of Lambda that will apply to all of the items in the first name and last name array. So here we have Lambda and the inputs into the Lambda function first are the elements that we are going to use to create a new array. So in this case, we have first name and last name arrays highlighted in red and highlighted in purple. And then we can apply a formula to each item in the array. So Essentially, we have the function of Sally and Smith, which is the first item in each of these two arrays that we're passing into the Lambda function using the map helper function, turns into Sally plus a space plus a Smith, which then returns Sally Smith in a new array. There are a few helper functions used in conjunction with the Lambda function, and those are map, reduce, by call, by row, scan, and make array. And here in this example, when I combine first name and last name to combine my contact information, I'm using the map function to help Lambda go through each item in the first and last name array to create a new array. And in this case, I only have to type the formula into the first cell of where I want the new array to be and the map and lambda function create the third array without the need for copying the formula down all of the rows of the first two arrays. And this is great because as your data set in your first and last name arrays grows, your third array where it's combining the first and last name arrays will also grow. And as I have to name my elements that are being passed into the lambda function, it's clear to other people using the spreadsheet what I'm trying to accomplish using this map and Lambda function. It might not be as clear to someone what you're trying to do if you're just concatenating cell C3 and E3 with a space. It's much more clear the purpose of this formula and can be easily communicated to other people outside of the creator of a spreadsheet. 